Hey guys, Chris Speak with Cheat the Game coming back at you. Today we're going to be talking about advanced register compares. And I want to give a shout out to my pal Jason Mount, also aka Bite Ninja. He is a friend of mine at, and on the CTG channel over the Facebook channel, but he's more than a man. He's also a co founder of CTG. So uh, I owe CTG to him as well. Uh, he helped me get it started, him and a couple other people. So uh, thank you, pal. But this is a tip that he posted on the Facebook channel. And there's a lot of good advice over here. So I recommend uh, come over here and uh, uh, check us out sometime. All the links are down in the description. But basically what this is, if you went uh, to compare out, no matter what it would be for uh, health or uh, other things where you have shared opcodes and you went through dissect data, you went through uh, finding commonalities or uh, comparing the stack or anything of that nature and you just have not been able to find a compare, there is also advanced register compares. And um, we have talked about register compares before where you go look in the registers to see if there's a register that's always remaining the same. But I'm going to show you a way where uh, we can possibly still use the register compares even when they change somewhat. And uh, this is what this lesson is going to be about. Right off the bat, I need to break down what we're discussing and then I'm going to show you. And this is uh, based on the registers uh, from the 60 four bit registers uh, they're basically all the same and this is how you need to instruct cheat engine of what you're wanting so you can see this is how it breaks down RAX and the, is 64 bit the lower 32 bits is EAX the lower 16 bits is AX the lower 8 bits is AL and also there's an AH for the higher 8 bits and I'm going to show you that also and all the registers break down this way if you want to take a look and I recommend you can just go ahead and put registers in Google and 64-bit uh, registers in Google and then click on images and you'll see this image. You can download it and take a look at it. But I want to show you also in Notepad what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like. And I'm just using RAX. All the registers are the same as far as this goes. But when you see RAX, it's holding this many values. I'm going to separate that. And then EAX is holding the lower 32-bit values. AX is holding the lower portions, the 16-bit values, and then you have AH, which is the first, uh, the higher part of that of the 16-bit, and the AL is the lower part of the 16-bit. So, once you understand this, this can help you with compares in games. So, what I want to do is I want to bring up destroy all humans, and I'm gonna uh, we're gonna put this method into practice. So, I'll be right back with you. Okay, I brought it up and went ahead and attached it to Cheat Engine. And I do have a vid already on how to find health in this game. Uh, feel free to go watch it. I'll put the link in the upper right hand corner. But basically, this is assuming that you already know how to find health. You know how to get to the opcode address of where health is being written to. And that's where we're starting out here. And let's just pretend for a minute that we've exhausted every avenue. Uh, we went through commonalities, dissect data. We've looked at the stack. We've even looked at the registers, and it doesn't appear that nothing is the same. It's Now we're going to uh, try our advanced registry compare, or register compare. So let's go ahead and uh, find what addre addresses this instruction accesses. <clears throat> this is also known as a breakpoint on access. Let's get to the game, and let me take some damage. Ooh, I'm almost dead. Sorry. Let me bring this back up. There we go. All right. Let me stop this. I'm going to bring this back up. I don't know what that other value was. Just to make sure. So let's go ahead and let him shoot. I mean, there's where us. That's where we are. That's ours. Let's bring up our enemy. So let's shoot him one time. All right. So we got that cop. And let's get that cop. And good. We got our enemies. All right. So let's go ahead. And, and what we're going to do is right click on it, show register states, or you can control R, the hotkeys. And here's the register values for us and our two enemies. And what I like to do is I like to uh, put these side by side. Just make sure you know which is which. All right, and what I'm going to do is take a screen print of it. 
and just can paste it in there and I'm just gonna save this information for just a few minutes just so I can compare the two and we're just gonna go ahead and take those back down and uh, let me bring the game back up as you see I'm taking it back down I'm just gonna bring it back up and then we're gonna do that same process again so I bear with me okay the game is loading back up now and we're gonna reattach it to the game list so we're back that's the same location of where it's writing to our health address and I'm just gonna go ahead and continue yeah I cut that little part out of that waiting sorry about that all right so let's uh, get back to that location where our enemies are over here I guess I should have turned on my infinite jetpack <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. Put a breakpoint on access. Alright. So let's go ahead and take a hit. There we go. There's our value. And let's give ourselves infinite health so we can do this. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, there's one and there's the other. Okay, so we're going to bring ourselves up here. So we're going to show register states. There it is. Show register states for the enemy. And show register states for the enemy. Okay. Now what we want to do, first of all, is you want to look at your character. We're not even going to concentrate on enemies at the moment. But we want anything that looks like has remained the same. But we're looking for something kind of different this time. We don't need every single thing to be the same. Remember how we broke down the registers? We want to look at each faction of it. Is anything the same here, here, or here? That's what we're looking for. This is the advanced register compare. So that's what we're going through. We're looking to see if any of these things are the same. And so don't look like anything in the first one's the same. But if you take a look at RCX, let's take a look. Sorry, there we go. If you take a look at RCX, we see that most of this ad or address that's being stored in there, or the value that's being stored in there is totally different except for the last four digits. That's very interesting. 24CO, 24CO. Now, I, yeah, I know we can go compare ones, and I know if you take a look at the enemies, RCX is zero, but let's pretend that there's other values in there, okay? Because this is important. That's just what I'm wanting you to get out of this. And also, you want to make notation of anything else that may be the same. Uh, you can see also down here, uh, EC3O in R9. BC3O and R8. Those are also things that are alike. But what I'm going to concentrate is on RCX. So let's bring this back up. And if you have the breakdown, we can change this right here. And this is what the RCX register would be like. It's just the middle. Whatever the middle letter is, that's the way it breaks down, you see? So RCX will break down like this. So the last four digits, that 24C0, is in the CX portion of the register, holding that 16 bits, CX. So basically, we want to tell Cheat Engine, we'd like to use that register, but we only want you to compare the last four digits, the 16 bits, the last 16 bits, that 24C0. So that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new script. We can take this back down. Auto assemble and we're going to do the AOB injection and we're going to put uh, red compare I better not put it that way. We'll put it like this. Redcom. This is our lesson right here. So basically what we want to do is we want the last 16 bits. If you take a look, we want the 24C0. So the way to tell it that we only want it to compare that 24C0 is we want to put CMP CX 24C0. We want you to compare out of the 
RCX register just the last 16 bits that value right there as you because it remain excuse me two four C zero because that's the only thing that remain constant we want you to jump it's not equal to code and then to and like I say I forgot what the uh, I think I had the uh, cap put into it but just rock quick I'm just going to uh, put in a regular value of uh, I'll just say flow 12 I think uh, I think 12 is high as it goes at the beginning of the game we're gonna save this to the current cheat oh wait 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 jump return we don't do that it's gonna come down here to code and overwrite everything we just did so all right so we need to jump over that and go to return all right so let's go ahead and add that to the current cheat table and we'll turn that on now let's go to the game and see if it compares the last 16 bits of that register we should look we went up to full health does our enemies take damage they do and we have successfully compared our guy saw ours go straight up and the entire register was not the same but the last four digits was which is the 16 bits and we were still able to successfully compare and if I bring this back up I take the game down and bring it back up my health will continue to work I want to thank Jason again for that awesome tent brother that was great thank you for letting me use it and I really appreciate it and I want to thank all of you for coming out to CTG and supporting the channel you support it just by coming here to watch the video uh, please uh, place a like on it I would really appreciate it, it really helps us out a lot and I also want to thank my partners right quick. These guys keep cheating the game running. If it wasn't for these guys, I'd have to fold up shop a long time ago. So I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for uh, sticking with me. And I really appreciate it. CTG continues to thrive all because of you guys. All of you. All of you. Thank you so much. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut on out of here. Hopefully, I can come out with another bid soon. It's getting really hard to find topics to do things on, but uh, I do have some uh, other game hackers I want to feature on here as well, and uh, they are currently making bids for me now, and I can't wait to see what they got in store for us. So uh, keep it hold of the channel. We are going to have a lot more content coming at you very soon. So uh, just keep monitoring uh, the station, all right? Well, guys, I'm out of here. You all take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, doesn't mind cheating you. You all take care now.